below. It's Sunday, November 8th, and I just woke up today and was like, I really want to start a weekly reading vlog. So that's what I'm gonna do because I just feel like this week will be the week for reading because I haven't had like a lot of like really re reading weeks, but this week feels like the week to be like reading a lot. So I'm right now reading Restless Slumber by KJ Sutton, which is like an indie book I found on Amazon. It's a dark fairy story and I am freaking obsessed with it. I'm obsessed, it's so good. Um, we have this girl, Fort Fortuna Sworn, that's actually the title of the first book, who is a nightmare. Like any creature, like a werewolf, vampire fairies, like they're all descended from fallen angels so they're called the fallen so like nightmares are one kind of fallen and they basically can weave like illusions preying on people's worst fears and it's so freaking interesting and she basically gets involved with this fairy things ensue from there and so the sequel like so much has happened and it's really good and i think they're like hinting at things in the future to come that are like i'm gonna be steamy you know and like i was i'm screaming I was screaming. So like basically once I read From Blood and Ash, I was like, I need more books like this. And this is one of the ones that came up. And I was just reading it on Kindle and then I loved it so much that I purchased a physical copy. So I'm going to be reading a lot of adult romances that way. And I know I keep saying this, I just haven't had time to film it yet. Um, that I'm going to film like a adult fantasy romance, not recommendation, but like basically like a list video of all the ones that I want to check out. And I'll be including this one on here and I'll be like, oh, well, like when I made this list, I wanted to check it out. And I did check it out. So... Yes, but then back to YA, because I feel like it's been a while since I've been in YA, and you know YA is like my, my thing, right? So, I have Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco, and I'm going to be buddy reading this with Isabella. We said we'd start a week ago. <laughs> we haven't started yet, but I'm going to bully her into starting it and just be like, I read it, so let's go. Because um, I have a big November TVR, and I want to make sure I get everything done. Like I'm just, this month, like really in the reading mood. Like I just want to be reading. And I love when those moods happen. So this is like supposed to be super good. We'll see. This is a pretty short book. So either like if we're sticking to the 75 pages a day, like I will read those and then read something else. But I think more likely what's going to happen is I'm just going to read through this. And then I think so next week I'll be starting ACMAF probably next Sunday and like my vlog for that because I don't want to be vlogging while I'm at families for Thanksgiving. Like that's just I feel like I won't be able to fully express my thoughts. So I'm gonna be starting ACMAF like next Sunday. So wherever I am in my other books, just gonna like cut it off and focus on ACMAF. But I feel like I can read ACMAF so fast because it's the love of my life. Hi Gavin. Gavin, you wanna say hi to the vlog? This is also the love of my life. Mr. Gavin. Hi, Gavin. Who's a good boy? You're getting me so precious. Are you it? That's my baby. He loves to snuggle me while I read. So, yeah, that's the plan. I think, obviously, I'm not going to be able to read more than <laughs> two books in one day. But I only have about 100 pages left of this. Loving it so far. Amazing. And I'm going to finish this. Um... And then today, like, probably after I finish this, before I start this, I'm going to work out. And then after that, I'm going to need to film a video for this channel. And then just really, like, relax the whole evening because I just really want a nice, relaxing day after the way this week has gone. <laughs> See, oh, I've also started a new skincare regimen. And, like, this is my bare skin, which I do go bare face on this channel sometimes, but I usually don't feel, like, super confident in it. But I feel like my face is just like really adjusting and the changes really well. So maybe I'll do like a clip. Like this is like my problem area, but even these like hyperpigmentation spots are a lot, they're starting to fade from what they usually are. So I will be doing a skincare. I can go through my skincare routine, I guess, in the vlog because I'm just really excited about it. I'm really into it. I love learning about all the skincare stuff. And yeah, oh, and what else I want to do today is catch up on booktube because i have so many people who i just want to watch their stuff and i haven't had a chance so that's also in the stars for today so see you guys later hello it's monday now and i'm finally home from work a bit early so i get to be in the sunlight can you believe it because when i've been getting home at regular time it's dark by the time i get home and it's so sad but that's what daylight savings time does so 
yesterday i finished restless slumber by kj sutton second in the um fortuna sworn series i love this series there's so many like the way that there's a lot of characters and they all have like different arcs and like they're interacting kind of reminds me of sarah j mass like throwing glass type vibes but very well i guess sarah j mass does have like with a lot of fairies but it's just like a dark fairy book involving a lot of the unseely court and fortuna being a nightmare such a freaking cool ability i love it i love fortuna and she really has to make a lot of tough choices in this book and it ended with such a bang. I am so interested to see where the next book goes. Um, I'm really enjoying diving into more indie authors and look forward to me reading more of these kinds of books in the future. So then I started King of the Wicked after I filmed my video yesterday and I'm on page like 80 something and I love it. Like you ever just pick up a book and it just reminds you how much you love reading. Carrie Maniscalco has such a way with words. Like she really has a lot of very beautiful prose in here but it doesn't weigh down the text. It's really just perfectly placed and like I put on an Italian cafe at ASMR room because this book takes place in Sicily in like an undefined time period but I'm assuming older times and it's this family of Shrege which are witches that blend in with the humans and their family owns like an Italian trattoria so excuse my Italian pronunciation it is horrid um and so like it has a lot of like that Sicilian Italian culture and I know if you are have any like Italian descent in your family or you are from Italy Italian like I think you would really appreciate this book and the amount of culture references that are in it um and then we all of a sudden got to the introduction of that demon hottie of this book and like so far I'm so intrigued and of course it's really sad because her twin dies which is like I can't even imagine the kind of pain that would cause in someone like your other half being ripped from you um it's horrible so and that's like that's not a spoiler it's in the, the summary yeah, I'm really interested to see. I love the way that Carrie Maniscalco is writing the witches. I feel like in Stalking Jack the Ripper, it was more historical fiction with a sprinkle of supernatural. And this is like full out like fantasy or like paranormal YA. So I'm really, really, I just like want to sit down and devour this book. Like I got to page 87 last night and I'm like, why do I need sleep? Like, why can't I just stay awake all night and read this whole thing? Um... So yes, I am, have a lot of things to do tonight. I might go on an adventure to Barnes & Noble tonight after I contact Barnes & Noble customer service because, because I like thought I placed an order for the special edition of the Kingdom of the Wicked and the Tales of Elfheim or whatever the new Pearl Prince was, thing was, like the special Barnes & Noble edition. It is not shown up. I have not gotten an order email, but I know I placed it because I used a gift card and I wrote on the gift card the balance that I left over after I placed the order. So I have no idea what happened. I tried to log on to my one account, but I think I used a guest account to purchase. So like, I just don't know. So I'm gonna have to contact Barnes & Noble and be like, can you trace my order back to my gift card? Because I cannot find it anywhere and I'm like concerned that I haven't gotten it yet, although Barnes & Noble shipping does take a while, like I just don't know why I don't have my books. Um, if you ever were here when I had my Kingdom of Ash fiasco, oh my god, there was a whole fiasco with Kingdom of Ash and me like Barnes & Noble like not sending me my copy and then never saying anything and me being like what the heck and then I went to an actual Barnes & Noble to get the Barnes & Noble copy of Kingdom of Ash and like, it was the last one and it was like kind of damaged and like it's just this whole thing. I don't know. I don't know so I might like I don't know maybe today I do have to cook tonight okay there's probably too much on my plate tonight but maybe tomorrow I will go to Barnes & Noble on a night that I don't have as much going on um because I also need to end my video tonight so yeah probably going to Barnes & Noble not the greatest idea I only have so much time in the day so maybe tomorrow I'll go to Barnes & Noble if I cannot figure out if I've actually ordered these books or not because if I if they're on the way then I don't need to go to Barnes & Noble but if they're not I need to go and I need to get these editions before they are out in the store so I might be on a bit of an adventure so stay tuned for that. However, yes, I'm going to edit my video for tomorrow and then read this and those are my plans for the evening. So thanks for watching. Good morning. It's Thursday, November 12th and it's in the morning before I am going to work so I'm all like fresh faced and I wanted to talk about the book that I've been reading this week. I finished Kingdom of the Wicked Tuesday night. I only started it like Saturday or Sunday, so it was pretty quick for me. 
quicker than I have in the English. I adored this. Like the whole like demon prince witch dynamic that they had going on was so good because they didn't know if they could trust one another and they were like enemies, but they like just kind of like spiciness between them. And then like you learn all the princes of hell and it was just like really unique and fun. And I'm so excited to see where the second book is going to take us because this ends on like a pretty big book. And I think it's just going to be like a delicious series. Carrie Maniscalco just writes so well. I think like a lot of the like writing was very beautiful and it had a lot of like feminist like undertones as well, which I really enjoy. And of course, like the family dynamic and the Sicilian setting, like if you were Italian, like it's just so much like Italian food is woven into this because our family runs an Italian restaurant and like, it's just great. I love it. And so yeah, of course I give this one up five stars. And now I'm starting King's Bane. This is just the dress jacket because the book is in packed for work because I like to read at work. Hey, during my lunch break. And so yeah, this is gonna be my reread. I, it might remember TBR, I was contemplating me rereading Fairy Board. I just, I was like, I've already read this twice, so I just kind of want to read King's Bane. And I started it already, and I'm only like 20 pages in, and I'm like, yes, I love this book so much. So I'm so excited to continue with my reread, and I'll tell you guys my thoughts as I go. Hello. What you got there? Oh, the book, good boy. Come on, let's go. It's Saturday, November 14th, and I've just had like a really lazy Saturday. I woke up, I took my dog on a walk on the beach, which he loves the beach so much, that was a lot of fun. Came back, I went to the gym and exercised, showered, <laughs> cooked some chili, and did a little bit of cleaning because my apartment gets messy during the week and I don't have time to clean it, and now I'm going to sit down and read, and I'm so excited. I've been reading it. King's Bane by Claire Legrand for my reread and I'm just loving it so much on my reread. I think this is a series that like you really need to love Morley Gray characters to like enjoy this book. If you're looking for characters that are just like straight up like good, don't read this because they like really, both of the two main characters, Riel and Eliana, like struggle morally throughout this whole series and like especially in the second book it's really highlighted but um I'm not gonna say like who is who, but one of the characters has like this kind of like descent into evilness almost, where she's drawn to the villain, like, and what he promises, not only like what he promises, but also like romantically, sexually, that kind of tension. Um, and the other character is really trying, like she was a bounty hunter, an assassin, basically like to survive and now she's kind of like now that she has this power people are looking to her to save them and she's like like what if I mess up like what if I'm not good enough so they really both have interesting moral dilemmas that are like very opposite and it's very interesting to since they are the only two that have all elemental seven elemental powers it's really interesting to see like how they deal with it and like how they suffer with their feelings and I just truly think that's one of the reasons that I like adore this book so much is because of these moral dilemmas. The moral dilemmas that these characters go through I think just really it's like ooh, it's so interesting to like watch one of the characters kind of like descent into evil and really like fight against her baser desires for power. Like she's power hungry, like she's very morally gray and it's so interesting to kind of like observe that space in women main characters because so often women are kind of pigeonholed into in you know in YA to being the heroine which there's nothing wrong with that but it's so nice to see something different than that and to be able to like look at female characters that depart from that norm um and then also yeah I just like love the elemental powers and there's like a whole there's actually like a whole time travel element as well and like a very like it's like a cosmic war and time travel is something that can be very messy like if it's not done right like it can really mess up the story but this is done 
so well and also because it has alternating POVs we are between Riel's and Eliana's chapters. I know for some people that feels like that can draw them out of the story but for me I really like it because it keeps the pacing going really well just because you're reading one story and you're like oh my god like that's so good like I want to know what happens next and then you switch to the other one and then you're also drawn into that one so it keeps you wanting to read more and more because then you want to get to like the next POV of that character but like it, it's two storylines going on at the same time that are woven together that are relevant and like I just think the back and forth between the two characters because they have equally interesting storylines really really like draws me in and make I like read so fast like I haven't had a lot of time to read in these last few days but I still got to page 145 which is like pretty good for me for like two days of like not having a lot of time like if I don't have a lot of time to read but I still try to read like I can barely hit 50 so the fact that I got to 145 I think is really good for me and tonight I just want to like really just sink my teeth in because I really want to start Lightbringer but yeah I mean for me to reread a book like and reread it physically I know a lot of people that will reread books on audiobook that might be something I'll try in the future but I'm just like not like a big audiobook person so I don't know but yeah for me to reread a book like obviously I have to really love it so that I could want to re-experience it. I used to reread books all the time when I was a kid because like, you know, I couldn't just go on Amazon and purchase every book ever that I wanted to read or like go to the bookstore and per like, you know, like my mom had to bring me to the bookstore and like buy me a book. So I was always rereading what I had when I wanted to read more. And I have kind of fallen out of that habit because I have so much to read, but I really, I mean, the reason that you buy books, right, is so you can read them more than once. So anyways, I'm just gonna read for tonight and eat my chili and check in with you guys later bye so a little sunday morning update for everyone <laughs> my dog ate my book again being all guilty on the couch so um books aren't that expensive so you know at the end of the day it's fine but it's just annoying because hey cause if i buy a new one i have to read hey i have to redo all these tabs which Will be a time. I'll, I'll do. Gavin, no. Bad. You can't do that for my attention. No. No more strings. So, anyways, my soul hurts a little bit, but at least this wasn't anything like a collector's edition or anything special. It just had all of these. Um, I am on page 220 and I do want to read a decent chunk because I really really just want to start Lightbringer especially reading this and like re-experiencing everything that happens in this book like there are so many questions that I want answers to oh look at this it just has a chunk out of it so yeah I'm gonna try and finish this today I mean that's like kind of ambitious because that's 400 pages but I don't have much else going on so I will check back in Hello, so it's Sunday night and I am here to report my reading progress and this is gonna be my wrap-up. Hey, drop. This is gonna be my wrap-up for the week. Oh, this piece of hair is just out. Um, so I read Kingdom of the Wicked. Hey! In the beginning of the week, I kind of like sped through it and I loved it. It was so good. Yeah, I love this one so much. I love like the whole demon princess of hell and a witch's dynamic it was really cool and just the ending was so powerful it's amazing um and so here's king's bane which i'm currently reading you see the corner of this book somebody ate it so like at the end of the day whatever books aren't that expensive it's not the most expensive item that my puppy has ruined um but the thing that gets me is i'm this is, this is one of my favorite books i'm gonna get a new copy I have to transfer all of these tabs over to the book. It's just gonna take like an hour to go through page by page and like re-underline the lines and transfer the tabs, whatever. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Like at least he didn't destroy like the actual pages, but it's just kind of annoying. However, I'm loving my reread of this. I'm currently on page 310 and that's about like a little over halfway through. I'm gonna stop for the night and like be good and actually go to bed on time instead of staying up late reading. Um, I did feel like, you know, like fantasy books read slower, so I did get through two fantasy books this week, so I feel like pretty satisfied with myself, especially considering that this is a 600 page 
book but reading this i'm just so freaking excited to read like bring her and just like see i have so many theories about the way that things play out and like the way hi, that it's all going to end i'm so intrigued to see how it goes and yeah i was really happy doing a vlog this week i think it's fun to kind of just like do like weekly vlogs um i kind of vacillate back and forth between like sh doing shorter weekly vlogs and longer like more throughout time vlogs but sometimes the weekly vlogs are good because they're just like short little snippets even if i don't like read super a lot it's still kind of fun to see like what i'm doing as i go throughout the week so yeah that's it for now um let me know in the comments if you've read these books or i don't know just like say anything random that's on your mind have some fun read some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one so i know that i said that this video was over but surprise it's not because I wanted to talk about something that I got in the mail today. Gavin, stop being a psycho, please. Can I get one moment of peace in my- No. And it's not book related, but it is K-pop related. I used to talk about K-pop more on this channel, but I don't anymore. But I was just so excited about this that I wanted to talk about it anyways. So <laughs> I got this album from twice which is now my new favorite girl group it's so funny because i have like listened to their music for a while and they've liked them for a while but just something recently i have really been connecting with them and i wanted to buy one of their albums so here it is more and more is such a good album my favorites besides the title track are oxygen and shadow if you listen to this listen to those those are my favorites so yeah they're a k-pop group girl group they're super popular i'd always like kind of like them but I never like fully gave them a chance and I did and now I'm obsessed and like if you don't know how k-pop album works they're really cool because you like open it up and there's like a cd plate and then there's a whole photo book so it's super fun that way and the other thing that's fun is that there's a lot of inclusions so like you get this whole accordion thing and then what makes it super fun is that you get photo cards and then you trade for your favorite member so I got this coaster these unit photo cards. Oh. Can you see? Well, my camera. Focus. This one. This one. This one. This is like the group card. So yeah, super fun little hobby of mine. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about it. And I have many K-pop albums, so this isn't my first one or anything like that. I just, I'm excited to like be in the new group. Oh my God, my dog is trying to eat my bookshelf. So I'm gonna go and end this vlog, but that was just like a little special bonus clip, you know? Bye.